hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome for today's video I have a hair review slash like just telling you all about my hair um, for those of you who don't know if you don't know me in real life you probably do not know this because I never told y'all before on this channel but my mother is a cosmetologist and I have been doing hair since I was about eight years old I basically grew up in the shop because my mom was always there so on the weekends we would go to her job and just kind of chill out and I would you know as I got older I started helping her you know wash people's hair and stuff like that so I hair was just ingrained into my brain so um yeah i have this hair in and i'm going to tell you all about it if you haven't already seen the title um i'm sure that's why you're coming to this video but yeah if you would like to know how i got this style please stay tuned all right so first things first i always do my own hair i do hair on the side this is actually a crochet for those of you who know what that is it's basically when you use a latch hook tool and you'll pull the hair through and you knot it and you loop it my hair underneath is in cornrows going all the way back um well actually i have some smaller cornrows in the middle section from about here to here here to here and then i have some bigger um i think i have two on each side that are just going directly straight back the ones that are smaller in the crown area those um i do connect into some bigger braids in the back so in total i would say i have about seven or eight braids in the top and about six in the back and yeah that is pretty much all you need and it doesn't even have to be that many i've seen people do crochet with you know six straight backs or eight straight backs or four it just depends on how neat you want your braids to look i mean not your braid your hair to look because the braids it doesn't really matter how neat they look because they're going to be hidden anyways but you do if you want to have the style last longer i suggest doing less braids especially around this area so you get a cleaner finish and it will just last long and it will fill out more all right so enough about me talking about my braid pattern and all that let's get into this hair so this is actually the free tress um wand curl the two times wand curl braid collection the ringlet wand curl and i'm going to take it out of the you know plastic package and this is what the hair looks like um this tag as you can see it says free trust braid two times wand curl braid collection and there's the ringlet wand curl in the color 1b and as, the reason why they call it two times is because you get two bundles so as you can see me separating here this is one bundle of curls and then the other bundle is on this side as you can see in the back and then when you get the hair it comes just like this and these little curls they're very bouncy and I love the curl pattern on this it reminds me of the Jamaican bounce if you ever use that um, I've never well actually I have had the Jamaican bounce before but of course I didn't film it because this is the first time that I'm filming anything about my hair and this I y'all this hair is bomb as you can see from me having it in my hair y'all just get into it it looks so natural and I just cannot wait until it gets older because I know it's only going to get better with age. So the deets on this, I already told you my braiding pattern. I use roughly two and a half packs of this hair. I saw one video and the girl had used four. So I'm going through and I'm like, I cannot fit four packs of hair in, the, in my head. So I don't know what she did or how she did it. She must have done her... Um, her sections very close together I did leave all of mine whole so when I took it off of this I only separated it where the middle was you know where you can see I'm gonna show you hold on I separated like this so at the loop I just separated like that and I'll pull that apart that's the only separating that I did now in the front to get some more of the looser curls I would take a piece and you know separate it and for some of the bigger chunks like this one back here all I'll do is you know find where it naturally wants to separate like that and then rub my finger around it like that twist and twirl so the curl pops back and as time goes on I will probably undo more of them so that it gets some more full and because eventually you know when you sleep on it it's going to begin to way down is going to start 
you know, getting flatter and I like big hair. So I'm sure I will start, you know, unraveling more. And I may even add a few more pieces in since I have so much hair left. Okay. Now we talked about how bomb this hair is. I actually did it yesterday. So I've only been wearing it for a day. But my first impressions on it already are really, really good. The one thing that I can say, and this is with all crochet hair, synthetic crochet hair, is that the frizz on this bad boy, like, look at that. That's frizz. And then even if, I, if you see some of those pieces in the back, this like, you know, pieces like that, that's just going to happen with synthetic crochet hair. Like, there's no way getting around it. This hair costs $9.99 a pack, which is very steep. The beauty supply store I went to was the only place around here that sells free trust brand. Um, and I really wanted to get this hair, so I had to do what I had to do. Now, if I had planned better, I would have bought off the line or something like that from probably Sam's Beauty or ElevateStyles.com or something like that. So, but I didn't. It was spur of the moment, and I just happened to run into the beauty supply store. And I paid $9.99 a pack, which I only used two and a half packs, so it's a $30 hairstyle. Not even $30, but of course you can buy half a pack. So it's a $30 hairstyle, which is, man, when you're doing your own hair, that is cheap because getting this done in a salon will easily cost you $70, $80, you know, getting it done professionally. Some people charge $100 for crochet, which I think is a ripoff. Um, and I will say that I love this hair. I will come back on once I've had it in for about a month and I will show you all, you know, what it looks like as it starts to get older. I plan to keep it in about a month. That's about how long I'll keep my crochet hair in. And I did do the invisible part method, as you can see. Um, that is when you take the piece of hair and instead of looping both through back through the loop, then you only take one piece and you pull the one piece through and you lay the other piece on top. If you want me to do a how to crochet video, I can, um, but there are so many videos out there online, so I feel like it's just repetitive to keep making crochet tutorials because there are many of them. Just Google like um, crochet hairstyle tutorial, and I'm sure that you will see at least a couple of thousand of them, if not more, because there are just so many tutorials on it. But I will show y'all if you want to see it from your girl, so just let me know that down in the comments if you would like to see that and I will be sure to bring it to you all. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is my first impressions of this hair slash mini review and I will come back in a few weeks and I will show y'all my final thoughts and results. Before you leave this channel, I don't know where you think you're going without subscribing. Where are you going? <laughs> you thought you was going to leave here without subscribing? Hit that subscribe button, y'all. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload new content. Because you have to know when this video, when the next video comes out, you gotta know, you know, my final thoughts on the hair. So yeah, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And share it with any of your friends. Any of your friends that wear crochet styles, because they are great protective styles for any type of season. Summer, winter, spring, fall, all of your seasons, you can wear crochet. Um, and get this hair, it's bomb already. The curl pattern, you know, curls for the girls. Get this hair, y'all. Get into it. And subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one.